Hello guys, how are you? This is the awesome Alfa Romeo 33. But why is it so terrible at braking? Well, today I think I have the answer and I think I have the solution. So every brake circuit is essentially the same. You have a brake master cylinder, you have hoses and pipes, and you have your calipers on the front, on the rear, even, even if you have drum brakes, it's almost the same thing. So what's the problem with the Alpha 33 and other uh, makes and models that may have this problem? So it's very easy to understand. You, when you push the pedal, just to give you here an overview how the system works, every system, when you push, push your uh, brake pedal, you are pressurizing oil on this master pump here. As you are pressurizing the, the oil, the oil leaves the pump and has to travel to the caliper, thus grabbing the disc with the force of the oil. So you have pressurized oil over here, and then you have the piston pushing on the disc, on the rotor. I have a playlist for that if you want to have more information. Now, on the Alpha 33, we have some problems. Even if you don't have the ABS here, you still have a lot of upward bends and U-shaped bends uh, where the air can be trapped very easily. Now, on this car, I have perfect braking and perfect working ABS. This is, at least in Portugal, almost unheard of. I have really, really good braking. And as you can see, the rotors are not that good. The, the calipers are, are uh, even a little bit um, the pistons are, are a bit uh, stuck. I have uh, different uh, wear on the, the pads. On the rear, uh, it's actually new calipers, new discs or rotors, and your new pads. But no, none of that matters now. What does matter is how can we take out all of the air that is trapped on these pipes, on these tubes, on these pipes? It is, it is, in fact, very easy if you have the right tool. Now, the tool that I have, that you already saw on the cover of the video, is not expensive. Uh, it is not a professional, it is professional, but it is not everyday intensive use. For that, I have to have a, a really more expensive tool, uh, but that also requires pressurized air that I'm trying to rid of because I have the compressor over there, it is a bit old, and I'm afraid it, it wants to blow up. Uh, I want to electrify everything or do everything manual. Uh, you will see in the, in the second. So, what you don't want to do is to purge your system with a brake pedal, doing that uh, pressurizing, releasing the purges, uh, pressurizing again and again and again, because that is actually a good way to purge your system, but you are ruining your master brake, brake cylinder. That happens a lot, trust me. And also, as you can see on the, a lot of publicities on the internet, Facebook, you have that famous vacuum machines. Those machines are so, those machines, well, that technique is so old, it's really outdated, really, really outdated. You cannot use a vacuum machine to do this kind of complex purging. I show you why in a minute. So I really like to do a presentation here of this system. It's re very, very uh, easy to understand. This is just an adapter. It's basically a cover like this one, but with a adapter here for the press right pressure machine. And you are you actually sending pressurized oil, like you may have seen on other videos that I did. You want, you want this to be very tight, but also not too much because this is an old reservoir. And like this, you can send pressurized oil, not air, oil, through the entire system. Okay, why is it so important to take out the air from this system? As you may understand, the air is compressible. As you are braking, if you are compressing the air, you're, you really are not sending pressurized oil to your pads, to your calipers. 
you are only pressurizing the air, the pedal goes down and you really don't have that much of, of braking. Eventually, you can brake something. You, not brake something, you can, well, you can, you can break a wall, but you can brake a little bit. Um, that is the case of most of the Alpha 33s. They, they still have some air trapped somewhere, and you always have that feeling that the, the brakes are not really there. Uh, the, the other problem, or the other co consequence of having air on their system is, in the first place, how did the air get there in the first place? If you don't replace your brake fluid every two years or 40,000 kilometers, that is maximum values, this oil, this fluid, is hygroscopic. It, it absorbs the humidity of the air. Just being like this, it is absorbing the humidity. It is very dangerous. So, as you are braking, the fluid gets hot, and it, as it get, gets hot, it is uh, boiling the water that is inside of the fluid. And that boiling produces air, okay? That is how the air gets in your brake system. Not just because uh, you did a perfect purge and two years later you still have air or now again you have air on your system. That is not a, a problem with it. It's, it. it is just a consequence of hard braking. Also, if, if, if you have the flexible brake hoses, if they are too rotten, if they are too uh, uh, plugged up, you may have rotors like that you saw on the video of my offer, of my sedan, the, the 156 sedan. I have the front left and the rear right brakes uh, always biting, always the, the, the caliper was always breaking the disc, and those two rotors were actually uh, worn out because of that. And then, because of that, the oil was really, really, really bad because of that, because it was always hot, 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 hot. And what, when I want to brake really hard, I can feel the pedal wants to go down because of the air that was trapped on those lines. So what do we have here? This is really a machine that is made on purpose to do this kind of purging. This uh, system works for uh, cars with, with or without anti-lock brakes or ESP, like I told you on the videos about ESP, you may understand that. Um, how does this work? It is really, really simple. You have here this uh, brake fluid. I'm not sponsored by, by this brand, but I like to use this, this fluid because it is available uh, relatively cheap and it is a good oil or fluid. Anyway, what you want to do is to open this con container, make sure it has no pressure. Sorry, bye. <laughs> and now you want to fill up this container here with the amount of fluid that you want to use. Normally, one and a half liters is what you want to use. If you want to use more, you can. It's really better. The, mo the, mo the more you, you purge, the best it is for your system. But at the end, you should remove all of the fluid inside of your machine, unless you use it every day, of course. Now I have here about this amount of fluid. I will put this uh, as well, but not now. And now I want to cap this hole again. Okay, make sure it is tight. In here on the pump, this is a pump. Okay. And as you may see, this final component as a valve for the oil not to escape as I am pumping and you should not pump this without being connected to the car but just to show you here the pressure is starting to build up and what you will have is a constant no air oil pressure through your entire system the car entire system as you have that you will know for sure if any air bubble passes to your perch, you have air on your system. It is very, very, very reliable, this kind of purging. I really, really, really love this kind of purging. Now I have my container full of oil. I want to pressurize the pump here, and I want to see around one kilogram to two kilograms of pressure 
on this tube. You don't have to fill up all the way this uh, reservoir and you don't have to worry about the air, the initial air on this hose. You have this reservoir and the air will be deposited on top of the reservoir, obviously, and you will always have a quantity of oil that will be pushed through the pedal pump, the master cylinder pump. About this reservoir, if it, if it is very black, you should remove the, this, clean it with water, with running water, until it's completely clear. Only then you can reassemble, fill up all the way, almost all the way, with new oil, with new fluid, and now you can reattach this, this uh, example of pump and start your purging. Now I have a kilogram of pressure on that side, so I have a kilogram of pressure inside of this reservoir, and in fact I have a kilogram of pressure on the entire braking system of this car. As this pressure, as the oil, as a conductive pressure, I have a perfect way to purge the system. On this complex system, what do you want to do on the, the older style of systems of braking? Uh, you have this, uh, you have a lot of bends, and that is the problem with the vacuum system. With the vacuum system, you, you only have access to the purges on the wheels, and it is very far. Not only that, if you are making a vacuum on the, the bleeders, through the frets, you are already losing uh, the, the vacuum, okay? And if, even if you don't, the, the, what will happen if you have air on this part, for example, the air will only be uh, rotating inside of this bend here. It, it will never complete the journey to the purge. It will only be here, swirling around in here, and not really doing anything. With this system, not only you are removing the entire air of the system, you have enough pressure to push out dirt. Okay, now, let's do this step by step. Normally, you uh, grab your perch on the, each corner of the, of the wheels, like I told you on the other videos, okay? And normally, that, it is, that is enough. But on this case, on this Alpha 33, I am remembering here another cars that uh, have to do this as well, but on this case, on the Alpha 33, on the uh, Alpha 75, you have to do this as well. You want to see, for example, the first pipe is uh, exiting here, going around and enters the ABS. So, what I will do, you want to break, break it loose and you want to see oil dripping down clear and without air. If it has air, you will see a foam forming down there. Okay. Once it's clear and liquid, you can close it. Now, for the second exit of the brake master cylinder, it is a 13, not, not a 11 millimeter. You want to break, do the same thing, break it loose. I know there are better tool for, tools for this. I know, I know. The same story. It's dripping clear. In your case, it may drip very dark and with foam. If, it, if that's so, Wait until it's perfectly like this. Okay. Take your time. If it takes five minutes, it, it takes five minutes. On my case, it's good maintained brake system. And now you want to see the exits of the ABS. Make sure to, to purge always, firstly, on the intake, if I may call it that, of the ABS, and secondly, on the exit. Uh, on this case, it really, really makes sense because on top it is the exit. It is the same story, okay? Try to... My dog... Mm. Not good. I have to do something about that. I have a big tendency to over tighten things. So, same story. Maybe I did tighten this with a special tool that I have had on my shop, my workshop. 
So same thing, if it, it no, does not want to come out, you can push out the pipe and see. You take, can take it, take it all the way if you want to, really. And see, that's the same thing. Notice the dark of the, the ABS on the inside. There is a sign that I have to do this more often. Look at that. It's clear on this side, but on the bottom side, or on the inside, it's also coming out dark. My pressure is still, still a bit low. I have to pressurize a little bit more. Again, one kilogram, about uh, 15 PSI, about that. So not to waste too much of your time, close that. I will do the, this for my Portuguese video, so I will be having time to clean this out all the way. Okay, now for this one I have a tip. Now I know, I know, I know, this is not the tool for this, but I don't have any other tool. And you, if you are careful enough, you can feel the perfect place of the hexagon. And now pressure, a bit more pressure, and try. If it starts to slip, back up a, a bit, do more pressure. Again, try to, okay. I did not damage at all this fitting. As you can see, I can almost, <laughs> almost, I did damage it a little bit on the, on there. But no worries, okay? If I want to, I, I, can, I could remove this from the editing. I will not. So you see, these things happen. And we have to be brave sometimes. So, dripping again. No dark fluid over there. That is good. Now do this for a longer time to really take out all of the oil of, and air. Next step. You already know what the next step is. Clean everything, everything, everything with water. Just water. On the case of the cars that have that valley over there, on the bottom side, we have to be more aggressive in this and use a bucket of water. That's right. Don't be afraid. Excellent. Now, what is really excellent about these kinds of uh, purging, everywhere on your system you have pressure. Brake fluid in pressure. So, you can open all of the, the, the fittings that you want and you will uh, always have new oil pressurized. So, uh, we, we already pr um, pressure bleed bled the ABS on the exit. Now, the, the next um, fitting is this one here. This is really an interesting because imagine that fluid is not coming out of your purge. You have to diagnose that. How do you do that? F firstly, uh, you al already know that the fluid exits the, the ABS. Sometimes the problem is indeed the ABS. Now you want to see if the fluid reaches this fitting. How do you do that? You just unloosen the fitting. I did not ever try to unloose this fitting before. Now you can see a lot of oil coming out. I have a tray on the ground, okay? So the problem is not the line until this fitting. So everything is okay. You can actually do this to purge even better your system. Until here you have new oil with no air. And now you want to see if your uh, flexible brake hose is bad or not. If it is bad, as you are untightening, unscrewing here, down here the fitting, the, the oil will not come out, or will come out, but uh, with not such pressure. So this is a 14 millimeter, upstairs is 17 and 15. You can actually take uh, take out the turn or two. Actually, what you want to see, I don't want to 
take up too much of your time. You want to see oil coming out of the fitting as I am seeing dripping on the pan. Not too much. This, this really means that I have to um, replace my flexible brake hose. It is a bit clogged. So, but it runs, okay? Now, the first, the, the last step, and the more important almost, is to unscrew here the purge itself. And so, if you have oil until this fitting of the, the flexible brake hose, and if you don't have oil coming out of this uh, purge, what is the problem? It's very easy to understand. Uh, you want to use a, a hose to collect this oil. I am not doing this just for the purpose of the video, so you to see the clearness of the oil. Okay, it is very, I'm, uh, again, I have a tray on the ground. It is very clear. It, if, uh, uh, if you have air on the system, you will see the bubbles, you will see the foam, and I don't have any of that. If in your brake caliper the oil will not come out, and if it comes out of this side here, obviously you have a problem inside of your caliper. But it's really easier to solve than you may think. As you are uh, purging your system, if oil does not come out of your purge, as it is uh, unscrewed, okay, you want to remove entirely your purge, and even though the oil does not come out, you want to grab a small, a very fine drill bit, and by hand, not with the machine, try to unclog it like this. And almost immediately, oil comes rushing out of the hole. A kind of a, a, a cement forms inside of these holes with age with, and with lack of maintenance. And you, now you have oil pouring out of the hole. That is a sign that everything is, uh, in fact, uh, clear on your braking system and you are ready to close the hole. But before you close the hole, let a, a, little, bit, a little bit more oil come out. Um, the more oil comes out of the purges, the more the new oil can clean the walls of the hoses and the pipes. So th this is uh, uh, one more plus on this kind of purging systems. Now with this, the, the very same drill bit, you want to clean out like this or whatever you want to do, the, the, the purge. And as you may understand, this hole here connects to this smaller one here. This, it is very easy to cl be clogged up. You also may use, uh, may want to use some uh, uh, something here, maybe like the Teflon tape to stop this from rusting so much. And clog it, uh, turn it up again. Tightens uh, snugly, okay? And don't forget to use the plug. So this hole does, does not become completely dirty with everything, including rust. And that's it, guys. I hope you like this video. Just depressurize here this. Uh, consider, consider share with your friends. It is very important for my channel. Uh, if you share with your friends, it is the, the main way for people to know what we are doing here. And, and I say we because uh, this will not be possible without your support. The support you are providing so far is excellent for me to continue this journey. As you may uh, understand, this is not a cheap or easy way to, to do things. Uh, it involves a lot of things, a lot of investment. Of course, that is my choice. Of course it is. But uh, to continue this effort, it is very good to uh, know that you are liking this content. And indeed, uh, at least the ones that, that uh, talk to me say, indeed, it is a great content. To be even greater, to be even better, I urge you to please share with your friends. It is very important for me. So, here it is, the machine is ready. I will take out the oil on the inside. And that is it, guys. Bye.